We go to the bottom of the first. And now here is Luis Robert. And that one fouled off. Yo one. That one catches the corner for a strike. The 0 2. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone, bottom half of the first. Leori Garcia up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swings through that. That was straight queso right there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. We'll say Abreu up to hit. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing for the White Sox. We played an inning. No score. Back here on the south side. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. First offering, and it just misses. There's the swing and a miss. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, and 2 now. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. AJ Pollock at the dish. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. That one in for a strike, two and two. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Bottom of the inning. Here's Tim Anderson. First offering misses the mark. Not shortstop. Tim Anderson. Swing and a miss. The one-one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. And he deals. The punch out there. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here is Moncada. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And a big swing and a miss. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And Already? Strikes he goes. Third out, and that ends the frame. Bottom four. Now here is Luis Robert. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some right now. Pass. This is where you look for the starter to go out there. Uh, J Rod, don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning. Oh, what the heck? Right two, Swings and misses, and the count one and two. Good eye right there. I thought I saw something like that from the show posting it, but I'm not, I, I wasn't sure. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now one away. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Leori Garcia. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The White Sox yet to pick up a hit here. Night, brother.
The wind of the pitch. Got it. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Two outs, base is empty. And next to him for the Sox, Jose Abreu. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And now one and two. Why to kick the pitch? That misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Kicks and fires. And down on strikes. The big right, he strikes out the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Clips the corner, and that is strike one. There's a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. One and two to count. Got him looking, and that's the first out. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. The White Sox still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's his second strikeout. And now it's going to be A.J. Pollock. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Hit on the ground to the right side. Walsh picks it up. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Tim Anderson. And there's the strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch downstairs, two and two. And the right-hander deals. And now it's filled up. Full count. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one away. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. In there, and it's 0-1. The White Sox hitless so far in the game. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. So up next for Chicago, Yoan Moncada went down on strikes his first time through. And that's in there for strike one. There's a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Two down, nobody on. The punch out there. And good work there as he gets a one-two. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Luis Robert now. That's in for a strike. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Next offering misses. Two and one. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. The 2-2 stays alive. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Leori Garcia steps to the plate for the White Sox. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Tried to check his swing there, appeal to third, and yes, he offered at it. Righty delivers. Hard ground ball base now. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Runner on the goal. 
pitch in for a strike. Throw to second, tag, out at second. Well, they tried to press their luck a little after having just picked up their first hit of this ball game. So that caught stealing kind of stinks. Can't blame them for trying to get something going offensively, but so far, it's just not happening for these guys. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Cut on and miss, struck him out. So he's gotten bottom of the eighth. Here's the power hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. In for a strike. That strike one. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Aloy Jimenez now. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In there for strike one. And that one off the outside edge. So now one and two. Next offering is foul back. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. A.J. Pollock steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swings through that one. 0-1. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Here on the south side, there's the shortstop at the play. Tim Anderson. There's the strike. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. And yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out. And a quick out number one. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. First pitch just misses. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. Gonna count one and two. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. On the ground to third. Rendon throw to first. Now only one out remaining. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Moncada in the box now. No balls and a strike. That hits the dirt. And the count even one and one. And he pumps it a strike. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. So singy as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. Eight nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Angels.